What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about a secret map that I found while playing Among Us. This secret map contains many dark secrets that Among Us has been hiding from all of us. And you won't believe what happened next so you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us darkest secrets. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's begin with today's story video. So after patient zero, killer, unknown, and MC vanished on my screen and went through the portal, I was left alone on the map of Mira HQ. I cannot let them escape. I need to go look for them now. But I first need to look for the portal. I quickly check med bay and communications and both rooms were empty. Where did they go? Maybe they went to the cafeteria since that's the location that we usually spawn in whenever we play regular matches of Mira HQ. But as I was looking around the cafeteria, I could see no portal. Now I need to check the top portion of the map. I looked inside office and nothing. Same with admin and greenhouse. There could only be one location that I know that could possibly form a portal, and that is reactor. So I made my way through the locker room into decontamination, and when I walked inside a reactor, I could see the portal. The portal then began to shrink, and I was unable to go inside. But before I could lose hope, Chrono appeared and sucked in my player. Where did I go? I then randomly appeared in space with Chrono right next to me. Luckily, I had my spacesuit on and I was still alive. Chrono then told me that he wanted to show me something and I didn't know exactly what he was talking about. What is there to show? Chrono then showed me an image of Red taking over Mira HQ and how the crewmates were begging for help across all of the stations found across the universe. Chrono then told me that I was the reason that some of the crewmates found inside of Mira HQ managed to survive. I didn't know what he was talking about. How did I save them? And that is when Chrono showed me a flashback of when I did the secret task in Scaled and how the laser that was shot from the satellite killed Red. I didn't want to believe Chrono, but he must be telling the truth. Chrono then opened up a portal and I slowly made my way inside. I'm heading towards Mira HQ. I opened up my eyes and I was back on the map of Mira HQ. Chrono did tell me that he was gonna take me here to witness the attack that I did on Red. I was unsure on why he was making me do this. What exactly happened here? On the left side of the launch pad, I could see a pool of radiation. And below the launch pad, which is a location that connects us to the rest of the headquarters, it was badly damaged. So there was a severe attack that happened on the map of Mira HQ. I had to walk on top of the wooden planks. And on the other side, there was a dead crewmate. You could even see his ribcage, which was very disturbing. I made my way deeper into the headquarters and I could see a sign on the wall that said alert. So it looks like the crewmates entered in a panic and were forced to send an alert to the rest of the bases found across the galaxy. Could that be why I shot a beam of light back in Scaled? And Chrono did tell me that I was gonna witness an attack on Red. But then I checked Med Bay and I couldn't see Red anywhere. The beds that could be found in Med Bay were also badly damaged and part of the room was also missing. I then left the Med Bay area and I checked communications and I could see a scratch on the floor that could only be caused by an imposter that was so massive that nobody would dare face him. And outside of communications, the floor was so damaged that I could fall out of the map if I wasn't careful. Luckily, I made it through and I was now in out of the locker room and inside I could see the crewmate that is hiding in the locker. There was also a bone on top of some debris but then I realized something. The four imposters that I saw on the launch pad left through a portal found in reactor. What if they're in reactor as we speak? I need to make my way over there fast. This could be my way out. I went through decontamination and quickly entered reactor just to find nothing. But right next to reactor, there was a lot of things going on. Inside of the laboratory, the imposters were running experiments. I could see five imposters instead of five different containers. And right below me, I could see an imposter on the table. 
He appears to be dead, but there was no signs of red. I then made my way towards the center of the map, and I could see some wooden planks on the floor. This map is very dangerous. No wonder the crewmates were asking for help. I safely made it through, and I made my way down into the cafeteria. And that is when I found one of Red's arms, that appears to be missing from his body. And to the right, there was a massive crater on the floor. Looks like the crewmates that were trying to defend the headquarters managed to get some revenge on Red. That is until I enter the storage. And well, you can see what is inside the containers. So many crewmates were lost in this battle against Red. But as I was looking through the balcony, I began to realize something. What happened to the rest of the imposters? Does this mean that Red was the one that initiated this attack? and the rest of the imposters came as backup? Chrono is known to be an imposter that can control time. As I was going through a midlife crisis, I heard the screams of a creature coming from the top portion of the map. I quickly made my way over there and I checked the office and the admin room. But then right outside on the hallway, I could see trails of blood that lead me inside of the greenhouse. And when I walked inside, I saw Red. This was one of Red's biggest forms. He was so large and powerful. The last time that I saw him, he was very small. I didn't know imposters could grow in size. His body extended across the entire greenhouse. And I was just staring in disbelief. That is until I saw a laser hit Red right in the head and the room exploded and I completely passed out. If you would like to find out what happened to my character after the attack on Red, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help him reach 20,000 subscribers, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that I found on my channel.